Before we get going here, I want you to know, I believe the Milwaukee Bucks, if they go against the Miami Heat in the playoffs at any point this year, I believe Milwaukee will get through that hurdle. And in large part because the Heat let go of one of their key pieces of their personnel, in which that was Jay Crowder. And I thought Jay Crowder was so underappreciated by not only Miami, by the league. He didn't get enough credit for the job he did on Giannis in the playoffs last year. He was the key component to pushing Giannis outside of uh, a comfortable spot for himself. And Giannis at the three-point line was a disaster last year. Now, Giannis has gotten a lot better this year. And not only at knocking down the three-point shot, but getting into that mid-post area to work out that offense. And obviously, you add Drew Holiday. I think the Bucks will be fine, but let's be clear. If I'm Milwaukee, I don't want to do that in the first round. I want something easier. <laughs> and for Giannis and the Bucks, easier matchups include the Boston Celtics. Obviously, with Jalen Brown going down with the Boston Celtics, Giannis will have no problems defeating Boston in four or five games. Let's be clear about that. He loves that matchup. He relishes with that matchup against Boston. So he won't be afraid of that one one bit. Uh, but be clear, you know, it, right now things are looking like the Bucks got a good chance. We'll see how much the Brooklyn Nets play their starters down the stretch. They're looking to work hard back in, so I'm assuming they're going to play a, a decent amount here last week of the regular season. Uh, we'll see if the Bucks, who lost a big game against San Antonio last night, if they're able to catch the Nets. And why is that important? If you get to two, it looks like, after the Miami Heat's big win over the Boston Celtics to get that tiebreaker, looks like you're going to end up playing. Whoever's at three is going to get Miami. And you don't want to defend an Easter Conference champs in the first round. I'm not saying the Nets or the Bucks will lose, but it's not the test you want. That's more than a little test. That, that's something. Uh, that is something. Look, if Giannis and the Bucks could have it their way, I'm sure they're like, yo, let's get up to that two line. There was a reason why. Giannis and the Bucks went so hard against the Brooklyn Nets last week and won, beat them twice, back-to-back -back games. And that's with KD and Kyrie playing. They wanted that two seed. Now, they kind of blew it. They had their destiny in their own hands to get that two seed, and they blew it losing to San Antonio last night. But I think they'll try their hardest to win out, and I think the Nets maybe will sit KD or Kyrie in one of these last few games. We'll, we'll see. But, yeah, that Giannis and the Bucks do not want Jimmy Butler in the first round. Again, I believe Giannis and the Bucks are going to get over that hump. And maybe, just maybe, Giannis wants to do it. I don't believe that one bit. Maybe he wants to say, we're going to get over this hurdle that stopped us in the second round last year. Let's do it. Let's beat Miami and put them behind us. I don't believe he wants that. I don't. I don't believe he's afraid of it. I don't think he necessarily wants to do that. So we will see how these things unfold. It is as good as a, a regular season in we've had in quite some time, man. I know LeBron's complaining about the play-in, but it is truly captivating, especially add in the 10 less games this year. Man, teams are battling down the stretch here for position, and I do believe matchups will make fights here as we get closer and closer to the NBA playoffs.